Okay, so Benjamin Barnes here. You all know I love to read and how much I love to read. Um, I did finally get around to the third book in the Southern Reach trilogy and it's Acceptance by James Vandermeer and I absolutely hate this book. Um, this is what it says on the back cover. It says, It is winter in Area X, the mysterious wilderness that has defied explanation for 30 years, rebuffing expedition after expedition. Refusing to reveal its secrets, and Area X expands the agency tasked with investigating and overseeing it. The Southern Reach has collapsed in on itself in confusion. This book is confusion. Now one last desperate team crosses the border determined to reach a remote island that may hold the answers they've been seeking if they fail the outer world is in peril. Meanwhile, acceptance tunnels ever deeper into the circumstances surrounding the creation of Area X which initiated this unnatural upheaval among the many who have tried, who has gotten close to understanding Area X, and who may have been corrupted by it. There, This entire series, it seems, has no style, I guess. The style would be a hegemony and just endless mess. There was no real storyline. There was no rising action, no falling action, no climax. It's just like he took a thousand different stories and weaved them into one, and it makes no sense. It's just a complete mess. This book was probably one of the worst books I have ever read, and that says a lot. Um, it's sad that I, I, the first book sucked, the second book made sense, and then the third book was just a complete... I mean, I wouldn't pay the 20 or 30 bucks for this. It just ain't worth it. Um, it says it's a novel, but it doesn't read like a novel. It read like a schizophrenic person's journal. Just wow. This book was awful. And it's like... And that's an hour and a half I'm never going to get back. So definitely steer clear of the Southern Reach trilogy. And especially the last book in the series was awful. Now, to better reads, I read The Remaining by DJ Moles. There's six book in the, books in the series. Um, a soldier's mission in a ravaged world. Survive, rescue, rebuild. In a steel and lead encased bunker, a special forces soldier waits for his final orders. On the surface, a bacterium has turned 90% of the population into hyper-aggressive predators. I love this book. I'm going to enjoy reading the series. It's fast-paced, it's interesting, the horror is spectacular. Um, the scenes of violence are very detailed, which if you guys have seen some of the stuff I've been reading, um, you would realize I like a lot of gore and blood of my, a lot of the books I read, unless it's philosophy, which I've been kind of dabbling with Stoicism and Epicureanism lately. That's one of the reasons I haven't really been posting, because it's kind of com overcomplicated, and yeah. So, uh, first book in the series. I absolutely loved it. There's the back. It's by D.J. Molez. Uh, I like it. He's U.S. Army. He's a U.S. Army captain that's been assigned with spe he's a special forces. He was trained with the Green Berets, and I think the Green Berets, to prepare for the fall of the world. He's in a bunker. He loses his mind. He gets out. He leaves when he's not supposed to. He doesn't follow orders. And all hell breaks loose. So it's a good book. It's very, very detailed. Um, yeah, definitely check this book out. I like this guy. I like the series. It's horror. But it's fat. It's, it's like a horror military horror. So it's good. Nothing like The Walking Dead, thank God. Because the people, the zo there's not zombies. They're just infected with like a rabies-like pathogen that makes them completely impervious to feeling pain. So definitely love that book. It's good to be back on here. It's good to see you guys. Please comment below. Please stay away from James Vandermeer's acceptance unless you want a headache that lasts three hours. Uh, Alvida Zane and have a good night.